I really enjoy just throwing marigold seeds all over the place and then kind of forgetting about them and then they come up. And um, you can turn one pack of marigold seeds easily into bowls full of seeds. So then you just come around when the flowers are kind of drying out like this and you just pinch them off. You can use snips too, that's probably easier. But uh, yeah, you just gather them like that. And then I typically will let them dry on a windowsill a little bit further. I don't know that you have to do that. See, this one's really dry. But I mean, you could even take one. I mean, you could probably even get seed out of a flower like that if you let it dry, honestly. But I just come around and basically, you know, some people call this deadheading. It does make them bloom more. You take the seed heads off. Now I say that you could take a flower like this and get seed out of it still because every now and then um, I'll take a few marigolds home that are like that and I'll sprinkle the petals over a salad or some cooked greens or something. And what I typically do is I'll where my thumbnail is, I'll cut all the petals off and eat that. And then I'll take the head of the flower that's left, this is where all the seeds are, and I'll set that on my windowsill and dry it out. And you can still get seeds out of it. Now I just put them in with the big whole batch. I don't germination test those specifically, but they look, you know, black and viable. Marigold seeds are typically black. Um, and uh, yeah, so I think that that works. They're pretty good eating with other stuff. I don't typically like eating them alone. And I mix all different types together. I don't try to separate yellow or orange, tall or short, whatever. And then I just scatter them all over the place. I'll show inside how, I, you know, when I'm inside and out of the wind, how I actually get the seeds out. But I just took some out of this head right here that looked like it probably got moldy or didn't mature. And you can see the coloration here. It's not very dark. Sometimes they'll be even more like white colored, kind of like a tan, pale color. Typically those don't germinate. So I'm not even gonna take, pick those up, but It'll be easier to see what I mean if I show you some good seeds. Let me try to get some seeds out of this one here. Hold on. So this is going to be tough without two hands, but... All right, so there's all the petals come off. Let me see if I can just roll it between my fingers and get this pod to snap open. All right, I needed two hands, but see how dark those seeds are there? That's what the good seeds typically look like for marigolds. So that's what you're looking for. Hurricane Ian, I guess just tropical storm Ian now coming over us. <clears throat> good rainy day activity, going through seed. All these marigold seed heads here that have been just kind of out drying. And uh, let's see if I can get a good camera angle. That's all I do. And actually, I don't, I try to keep this kind of clean. Sometimes I'll try to remove the, oh, I got seeds all over my pod. Sometimes I remove the petals. Sometimes I just don't really care. But I do try to remove this part and cast that aside into a separate bin. And yeah, you can see, I let the seeds keep drying a little bit in here. And then, I don't know, I guess I'll put them in a package of some sort. Envelope or something, I don't know. But yeah, this is all just from a few plants. I got a ton more seed here. And there's more flowers out in the garden. So. The abundance of seeds. And you can be as picky as you want to be. I mean, if you look inside here, right? This is one I just took the seeds out of. There's some left. I have a ton of seeds. I could just cast this aside. Sometimes I'll kind of do that or try to just break it open. Get every last seed out. It just depends how picky you want to be. Or how picky is not really the right word, but how thorough you want to be and how clean you want the end product. 
you know, maybe you only have a few hot flower heads. You want to get every last seed. Maybe you're like me, you have a ton. You don't mind throwing some in here. I'm going to use all these heads. I have a big box of just stuff from seed processing. That'll be mulch. So <clears throat> those seeds will probably still get a chance to grow. Anyway. There's probably a much faster way to do this, but I don't mind doing it this way by hand on a rainy day. Maybe you could like step on them, seeds heads or something, I don't know. Sometimes they just rub them together like that. I want to see it just explode out. I'm having a tough time getting my trying to focus though. Oh, there we go. That might be better. Petals. Seeds. I'll try to not bend the seeds like you just saw there. I think that could probably damage them. I don't know. Try to avoid that if I can. Oh, okay. Petals are going in on that one. We'll do this a different variety, bigger head. This one you gotta kind of, this one's stiff. Oh. Some of these seeds may not be as good, but I, like to, I don't have that many flower heads from this variety, so I'm gonna mix them in anyway. Oh, maybe some of these are okay. Some of these look kind of shriveled up. If I get a head like this, a lot of these seeds are toast, I might just throw it right in the mulch. And then that way, I have a lot of seeds in the mulch that might pop up. Rain in the wind sounds really cool. I'm glad I'm inside today, not out working. Thankful for all the, uh, oh wow, a lot of seeds in there. All the people who are out working, you know, keeping the lights on and whatnot. Dangerous job. Oh, I think you get the point. 